Exodus 14, verses 10 through 12 says, As Pharaoh drew near, the sons of Israel looked, and behold, the Egyptians were marching after them, and they became very frightened, so that the sons of Israel cried out to the Lord. And then they said to Moses, Is it because there were no graves in Egypt that you have taken us away to die in the wilderness? Why have you dealt with us in this way, bringing us out of Egypt? Is this not the word that we spoke to you in Egypt, saying, Leave us alone that we may serve the Egyptians? For it would have been better for us to serve the Egyptians than to die in the wilderness. Well, if you're joining us in reading through this 90-day reading plan, today's reading is Exodus 13, 1 through 14, 12. I encourage you to read that passage. Well, sometimes we view our life prior to our relationship with Christ as being easier and more rewarding than our life with our relation, after our relationship with Christ begins. This can occur when struggles begin because of our relationship with Christ. While we haven't experienced much struggle in the United States at this point, in, Christian, in countries where Christianity is viewed as foreign and something to be exterminated, the life of a new believer can be very difficult. It might even mean the threat of our actual act of being killed. We have it actually very easy here in the United States. I was recently speaking with a pastor who is Indian and regularly goes to the country of India to minister. In some parts of India, becoming a believer brings with it the threat of death. This has become even more pronounced because of the radicalization of various religions in India. How much easier would it be to quietly live as a believer? No one would really have to know and you could live your life in peace. Unfortunately, many of us in the United States think that way. We think that we should not speak out against sin. We think that it is better to practice our Christianity, notice I did not say our relationship with Christ, in a relative secret and not creating any waves type of way. While we live in a poor, less than secular society, we still have the right to say what we believe. People may not like it, but we still have the right to say it. On the other hand, the only way that we can change the things that we don't like is by individually bringing enough people to Christ so that we can change the laws. We must not only face our enemies without fear, but we should also bring those enemies to Christ. <music>